Hello, my name is Linda from Log Cabin Village, and today I'm going to talk about potatoes. Potatoes have been in this country for over 400 years, and our pioneer forefathers very liked and grew them. In fact, Laura Ingalls Wilder, in her book, The Long Winter, mentioned uh, not having enough potatoes to make it through the long winter months. So we know that her family grew them. Now, pioneers would have planted their potatoes in the field, in long furrows, and they would have hilled their potatoes up as the plants grew. So you want to grow potatoes in your backyard? You don't need a field for that. In fact, potatoes can grow in only four square feet of ground. It's very easy to grow. If you don't have four square, four square feet of ground, you can always use a container, like uh, a planter, a potato grow bag, a bucket from your big box store, a 13 gallon trash can. Anything that's about 18 inches tall and has holes in the bottom will work just fine for growing potatoes. When do you grow potatoes? Well, that depends on where you are. We are in North Central Texas here, our zone is 7A. We are blessed with a long growing season, but the middle of that growing season is very hot. Now, uh, the ground has to be at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit to plant your potatoes outdoors. By around 80 degrees, your leafy uh, vines on top will start wilting, but that's not hurting the tubers under the ground. They will keep on growing. How long does it take to grow potatoes? Well, that depends on the variety. There are uh, three different grow cycles. You have varieties that take a uh, short season, about 70 days. Uh, others, mid-season uh, potatoes, take about 90 to 100 days. Late-season potatoes take around 120 days. By 150 days, if your plant hasn't grown, there's something wrong with your soil. It also matters how long you leave them in the ground. Now this year, I experimented with growing three different types of potatoes to see if I could lengthen my growing season. Over here, we have red, white, and blue potatoes. These are the ones I purchased at my big box store. And I planted my potatoes around Valentine's Day. This weekend coming up is Memorial Day. So this particular plant died about two weeks ago, and so I went ahead and harvested. That was at about the 70 day mark, so these must be short season potatoes. Some of them are not very long, so I may replant them and use them as seed potatoes for a second crop. I have recently found out that it's possible to grow potatoes indoors. Uh, during the months that uh, it's not conducive to do so outside. As long as you have a south-facing window with uh, six to eight hours of direct sun, it is possible to grow potatoes year-round indoors. Now, uh, if you're going to grow potatoes, what's best is to have seed potatoes. These green bags, potato bags over here, were planted with Yukon Gold seed potatoes from my local nursery. They are still growing. Now the thing about uh, seed potatoes is these uh, plants tell you when it's time to harvest. The plant dies. So after it dies, you just uh, keep on, you, it's ready to, you're ready to take your potatoes out of the ground. These are still growing. But once the leaves turn yellow and, and start falling off, that's a hint that they are, that there are some tubers underground that are ready to be eaten. They're just not their full size yet. We call those new potatoes. So these have already had some yellow leaves that have fallen off. So let's see in these bags if there's uh, any new potatoes in here. It's nice because we get the big piece. They have little, oh, look at that. There's one right there. And this is a nice little Yukon Gold new potato. So they're coming along just fine. Since my plant has not died yet, I'm going to let these continue to grow. Uh, probably for another four weeks or so and see if we can get these bigger. Now let's say you don't have seed potatoes. Uh, you could still make potatoes. Maybe it's the wrong time of year to buy seed potatoes. If you have uh, potatoes from your local grocery store that uh, you have bought, maybe you got them in a big economy, one to two pound bag, they're probably russet potatoes, and uh, you haven't eaten them fast enough. You could still take a potato that's already started to sprout and plant these and have a whole new crop. Now when we cut these potatoes, we're cutting chips, and we're going to make sure that there is at least one eye in every section. So we're going to cut these right there, just like this. Alright, now 
I've got this nicely new cut potato. We don't want to plant it just yet. We need this to, to get a little bit crusty before we plant it. Uh, so you need to let them sit overnight before you plant them. Now these others over here, I, plant, I cut yesterday, so they have already crusted over, and they are ready to plant. So then I'm going to take my grow bag, or my container, whatever. I like grow bags because they fold down, and uh, as you fill them with dirt, you can roll the sides back up as the plant grows. First, you'll need to fill your container with about three to four inches of soil. I am reusing the soil that I harvested my red, white, and blue potatoes out of, and that's perfectly fine. Add some compost, and then add your chips nut side down. Now normally you add more dirt on top of them and cover them up. And as the plants grow, then you add more dirt to cover the plants again. And roll the sides of your bag up. Presumably, that is so that the uh, plant can also produce more tubers all the way up the vine. That has not been my experience. I found out from growing the other potatoes that they only grow at the level you plant the chips. So instead of planting five chips like I did last time, which I thought was too crowded, I'm only going to plant three now. I'm going to add my dirt, and I'm going to add quite a bit of dirt and make another four inches or so and then put the next level of chips in. It is my hope that at the end of the season, I will have a whole bag or a whole bucket of potatoes all the way up, increasing my yield. Now, you can grow, uh, what you need to make sure to do is keep this wet, but not soggy. You don't want the potatoes to, to rot. And in the summer, in a hot Texas summer, you may have to water your containers more than once a day. But it might be possible to grow them indoors if it's really, really hot. Now, if you grow them indoors, you may not get as many potatoes. You may not have as full of leaf. And your yield might not be as, your potatoes might not be as large, but you still have something. If Laura Ingalls Wild had had a big picture window in her little house, their family might have been able to grow their potatoes indoors and they would have had something to help them make it through that long, cold winter of 1880 and 1881 where they almost started to get. So, here's your chance to become a potato farmer on your own. Happy printing.